Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. We have more leaks on Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. The leaks have started to pour out around Samsung's upcoming Galaxy S21 series. Today, we're getting a huge reveal of nearly all of the specs for each Galaxy S21 model, as well as new details about each device. If you recall last year, Samsung's enemy in the leaks game was Max Weinbach, who today reports on the next series over at Android Police. In his huge information dump, we get a ton of details about the Galaxy S21 series, starting with a nearly complete list of specs. According to Weinbach sources, the Galaxy S21 series will see a modest almost expected upgrade over its predecessor. That starts with a Snapdragon 875 or Exynos 2100 chipset depending on region, but apparently, the two chips are on par with each other this year, something we couldn't say on the S20. All three phones also retain 120Hz displays, but this gen 6.7-inch OLED LPTS panels on the Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus, both at just FHD Plus, 1080p, resolution. That's a step down from last time. The Galaxy S21 Ultra, though, will have a 6.8-inch WQHD Plus, 1440p, OLED LPTO display, which also features an adaptive 120Hz refresh rate, just like the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The S21 Ultra's display will also feature S Pen support, as previously reported, but an S Pen won't be included. All three phones will also debut with Android 11 and One UI 3.0, and feature both 5G and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, Wi-Fi 6E, for the Ultra. The S21 Plus and Ultra will also support O, including Samsung's upcoming AirTags competitor. It's from there that the specs differ a bit on each Galaxy S21 model. The smallest S21 will offer a 4000 mAh battery and 3 cameras 12MP main, 12MP ultra-wide, and 64MP telephoto. That's the same as last year. The S but with a much larger 4800 mAh battery. Meanwhile, the Galaxy S21 Ultra will feature a 5000 mAh battery with a 108MP GEN2 main camera, 12MP ultra-wide, 10MP 3X optical, and 10MP 10X optical zoom cameras. 100x space zoom will also be returning, and the laser autofocus from Note 20 Ultra will be coming over as well, which is great news. As far as the design goes, the leaked designs we've seen in recent weeks are apparently accurate, though they'll obviously look a bit different in person. That's according to official press renders Weinbach has seen, but cannot share at this point. Beyond just the design, though, this report claims that the S21 series will come in some new phantom colors. That includes violet, pink, gray, and white for the smallest device, silver, black, and violet for the S21 Plus, and only silver and black for the S21 Ultra. Notably, too, the frame and camera bump will feature different colors depending on the model which sounds like a neat idea, but we'll have to see how it looks in person. Samsung is also taped go. Where every S20 was similar as far as materials go, the base S21 device will be made from plastic, the S21 Ultra will stick with glass metal, but at this point it's unclear which path the S21 Plus will follow. Apparently, Samsung received better fan reaction to the plastic backs on Note 20 and S20 Fade than the company expected, driving this decision. It's unclear what pricing will be for the Galaxy S21 series, but apparently, rumors are floating around that the company plans to lower the starting price this year. That's good news, considering the Galaxy S20 series struggled to gain any traction with a starting price of $1,000. Right now, the series is expected to Samsung Galaxy S21. 6.2, Dynamic AMOLED 120Hz 1440 by 3200, 563 ppi, HDR10 plus punch hole selfie unknown. Snapdragon, 875 Exynos 2100. 8GB, RAM 128GB storage. Android 11, One UI 3.0. Triple camera setup. 4000. Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus 6.8, Dynamic AMOLED 120Hz. Flat display. Snapdragon, 875 Exynos 1000. 64MP Plus, 10MP Plus 10MP rear cam. Un Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. 6.9, Dynamic AMOLED 120Hz 1440 by 3200, 511 ppi, HDR10+, Punch Hole Selfie Unknown, Snapdragon, 875 Exynos 2100, 12GB, RAM 128GB Storage, Android 11, One UI 3.0, Quad Camera Setup Plus Sensor, 5000, being very hard to stop, 
That said it seems unlikely Samsung would have it ready so soon after receiving the patent. So we don't expect to see blade bezels on the S21 range. Samsung has been working on a perfect full-screen phone design for well over a year, and there were hopes that the Samsung Galaxy S21 could make this vision a reality. Samsung Display started talking about the possibility of eliminating the punch holes on the front of its phones in March 2019. The idea is that the camera hole would be invisible, while not affecting the camera's function in any way. The Galaxy S21 is rumored to up the ante even more when it comes to camera resolution and possibly zooming. Korean tech publication The Elec says that the Galaxy MP sensor, which would be even higher than the 108 MP sensor in the Galaxy S20 Ultra. In addition, the Galaxy S21 may drop a time-of-flight sensor in order to support two optical zoom lenses. One would be a 3x lens and the other a 10x periscope lens. One interesting bit of news reported by prominent Samsung leaker Ice Universe indicates that the company views high megapixel sensors like the 108 MP1 in the S20 Ultra and Note 20 Ultra as the way forward for the industry and will remain committed to their development. In fact, a Samsung executive who heads up the firm's sensor business theorized that one day, the company could introduce a 600 MP sensor that would technically. That's not the only crazy camera idea Samsung is considering for future phones. A patent for a six-camera array with lenses and sensors that can move, pivot, and zoom in and out has made the rounds. This idea seems as though it may be too radical to debut in a phone as soon as the Galaxy S21, though the increase in lens quantity and the idea to allow those lenses to move sounds like a worthwhile long-term goal for Samsung. App packed in headphones and charging adapters with the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro. However, recent reports from Korean media suggest the same will hold true for the Galaxy S21, or at least that Samsung is entertaining the idea. The latest news on this front comes courtesy of Sammobile, which cites Korean media in its report but doesn't name specifics. That said, it's a predictable step. Ditching packed-in accessories allows Samsung to increase margins on its handsets, which is becoming all the more imperative as phones get more and more expensive, thanks to developments like 5G. That said, it's possible Samsung could let customers down easily by employing a program similar to what it implemented for the Galaxy Note 20, where interested buyers could request a complimentary pair of AKG headphones from customer service with their purchase, though they weren't included by default inbox. Ultimately, we'll have to wait and see how Samsung approaches this decision. Well, that's all for now guys. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching.